Hello, my friend. How are you doing? In this class, we finished the text about zzz, bees. I didn't know how bees were important to US economy. I didn't know the number of plants they pollinate. It's impressive. Impressive. In this class, we finished the text about bees. Before I start, like, like, like. Like all of our classes. Comment about você aprende agora to your friends. Talk about our course. You are the person who who does the word of mouth for us. You are the one who talks about us. And your help is essential for us. Okay? You are like bees. You pollinate other people to study English. Let's finish the text here. U.S. farmers were not the only ones facing this problem. A similar decline in the bee population was reported in Canada, Brazil, and parts of Europe. Researchers worldwide started looking for answers and a range of theories for the losses soon emerged. One theory was that the bees were dying from a virus, a parasite, or a fungus infection. Other theories blamed poor bee nutrition, pesticides, and cell phone radiation. It was also suggested that bees are simply stressed because they are now raised to survive a shorter off-season and work more intensively than ever before. You know, bees are stressed too, my friend. Too much work can be dangerous. Since the total number of beehives has dropped by a quarter and the number of beekeepers has fallen by half, demand for beekeeping services has pushed up farmers' cost. The cost of renting a hive rose from $55 to $135 in three years. Many more beekeepers now travel across the country with their colonies, trucking some tens of billions of bees with them to pollinate crops. Others have started importing bees to keep up with demand. None of these solutions, however, really addresses the underlying problem. A solution needs to be found because without bees, our food supply is threatened and our very survival is at stake. So the critical question remains not only what caused the disappearance of the bees, but what can we do about this terrible loss? Now I want to see your opinion. In your opinion, why did the bees disappear? Comment your answer. Thank you very much. I'm Felipe Gibi. See you next class. Nouns are names. For example, learn is the verb. Learning, aprendizado, is the noun, substantivo, in Portuguese. 